So 343 just dropped a blog showcasing all the key points you need to know about the mid-season update coming here in December 5th, bringing Firefight into the game. The time for speculation is done. Let's get right into those details. If you guys like these informative videos, make sure to tap like for algorithm reasons. And if you're part of the 81% of people who are watching this channel who are not subscribed, well, you know what to do then to keep up to date with everything going on with Halo. So let's get right into it. So at a high level, we're getting Firefight, King of the Hill, the repair field, Forge updates, ranked and custom game browser improvements, as well as networking improvements. These things days are numbered. For Firefight King of the Hill, we will see you and three other players facing off against waves of banished baddies as you fight to capture hills on nine maps and the playlist goes live, including the House of Wrecking from Halo Infinite's campaign and three community made maps. This video was just posted on Xbox Brazil's YouTube channel and this is showcasing Sketch, the community director, and Michael Shore, the head of the Forge team, talking about this mid-season update and kind of things that have happened with Season 5. Most of what they talk about is mentioned within this blog, but there are some key aspects when it comes to the footage of what kind of maps to expect when Firefight does finally release. For example, this was actually showcased as in the first part we first time we ever saw the Forge AI being put in. So this looks like it should be a Firefight map being brought in. We do see Oasis. We saw that in the initial trailer as well. Here we also see the Exile remake that's in squad battles also going to be available with this seems like there's gonna be a bit of a mix between big team battle maps and arena maps being thrown in here on top of community made maps i don't know if these big team battle squad battle maps are gonna be counted as the community made maps i hope for more original experiences like we saw with that frost level that was the only unique level that we saw on top of the house of reckoning of course we do see behemoth right here as well being showcased as one of the playable maps the zanzibar remake that is in squad battles the squad battle map of valhalla is going to be in here as well which i always love valhalla in every possible way hopefully it plays out better than halo 4's spartan house that had the valhalla remake uh, I have a feeling that it will. We also see Deadlock here being thrown into the mix for a Firefight map as well. And with a lot of these larger scale maps or even some of the arena maps that we've seen, we will also have vehicles in play with this. It's not going to be strictly on foot like your classic Firefight. It's going to be a little bit more like what they grabbed from Halo 5, adding in some vehicles and some stuff like that. I did also see videos of the smaller maps like Forest being added in there as well. So I think we'll have a nice variety of tight close quarters maps, more infantry focus and larger scale maps that have a little bit more breathing room, some more vehicle play and things like that. All with King of the Hill in mind when it comes to this. You will be able to choose your difficulty as well when logging into this, which is going to be very interesting. See how difficult normal or legendary or however they're going to divide it up will be. Very similar to how they had it in Halo 5. Now, very interesting thing about Firefight when it comes to the Halo Infinite, it will feature a new networking model. We touched on this previously that was mentioned on the channel here, talking about how basically D-Sync's days are numbered and they're testing it out with Firefight. And I'll show you what they're talking about. On December 5th with the December update, you'll be able to jump into Firefight King the Hill playlist and try out the new networking model in a safe environment. So it's only for King of the Hill with this new networking model, but they do continue on saying, if the results are promising, we'll look to host a PVP experience in the combat workshop in the future. We are finally starting to see some progress when it comes to actually fixing the desync issue within Halo Infinite. This won't be just massive for the fluidity of gameplay, but also map design moving forward. I know so many people who are forgers who have had to nerf their maps basically in a way because some really cool section on one part of the map really causes some desync and issues where possibly in future maps that come into the game we can expand on more unique experiences with some more unique aspects to these maps that you can have within Forge. Talking about the functionality improving with Halo Infinite as well, saying Season 5 added more reporting information in the game which helps us better detect when and why crashes happen. Using this data, the team has knocked out multiple crashes across PC and console, including the top crashes on Xbox Series S and X devices. Again, more dubs. Next, we get some real detail about the repair field. Now, I've covered this previously on the channel from leaks and information that we've seen, but this is our first real actual information about the repair field. So let's dive 
right into it. A really cool thing seeing, similar to the Regenerator from Halo 3, the Repair Field is a neutral piece of equipment that heals allies and enemies within its radius. It's also capable of repairing vehicles and it can be attached to them as well, including environmental surfaces. Interesting thing here, the repair field can also revive down Spartans in select modes such as Firefight, King of the Hill, Attrition, and more. Can we get the repair field with the return of last Spartan standing? I don't know, I'm just saying, that'd be sweet. If ranked improvements come in, this is the most popular mode within Halo Infinite. We did cover this on our last video, guys, talking about the in detail about what's happening with the mode extraction. Effectively, you're getting less notifications within the game. Again, if you want to ca catch all the details, I would suggest checking out that last video. I'll link that video at the end of this one. CSR improvements, as in you won't be losing your rank when you quit out of games people have already quit out of rank protection things like that again i covered it in the previous video these forge updates are gonna be massive when it comes to just campaign ai experiences and p more pve experiences within halo infinite the biggest thing are the additions of high value targets and bosses from the campaign so they stated here specifically like bit bap the vanquisher and all those other hvts that we've experienced but also the high-end bosses such as jigger redemni eshram and the harbinger dude i cannot wait to see what kind of firefight maps are made we are just getting started dude skulls and graph nodes as well we also have quality of life improvement updates when it comes to forging scalable blockers auto turret allegiances and things like that so a bunch of little extra things being added in that can make or break a new game mode which is going to be very important for our forges custom game browser here also getting a significant update as well join as a fire team before basically you had to have one person join into the match and then everyone joins off of that player now the entire fire team can join within the custom game browser which is going to be massive and a huge quality of life improvement right there so it makes it so much easier when you're playing with your friends which most of the time when you're playing custom games you are playing with your friends this can be a much easier experience and they also mentioned improvements about various bug fixes coming in so basically it will function better and 343 does state that they will have a deep dive into firefight on december 4th coming out with also a trailer as 343 jokingly teased here utilizing that same image that gta was utilizing but then this time for halo if it's saying a new trailer coming on december 4th Forth. So we'll get some more gameplay experiences, most likely when involving firefighting, and just like a nice overview of what this mid-season update has to bring for us. And you know, I'm going to cover that trailer in detail. Firefight is going to be such a massive improvement to the overall experience of Halo Infinite, giving players a casual opportunity to make progress within the battle pass. We'll definitely have to wait and see what the XP rates are going to be, if it's going to be like the premier mode to jump in and rank up your battle pass faster than anywhere else or get that hero rank so you can wear that master chief armor from halo infinite's campaign if you want to know more details about what's changing with the ranked experience within halo infinite season two of halo infinite release date being announced as well griffball possibly returning to halo infinite well check out this video right here thank you all for watching greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you on the next one peace out